All right, in this video, we'll teach you how to use our VPN service with the community open source version of OpenVPN GUI on Windows 10. The first thing you'll want to do is download the profiles under your account. Go to downloads, you'll see the downloads. At the very bottom, there's one that's called All VPN Profiles Single Zip. It's the one you're going to want to download if you're going to use the OpenVPN community client or if you're just going to use this on Linux. Um, because they use the same profiles. What you'd want to do is then go to openvpn.net, go to the downloads underneath the community downloads. You can find the latest version of OpenVPN, which in this case is 2.46. And if you go down here, you'll see the Windows installer. You can go ahead and save that. Take a couple seconds to download. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and install this going to prompt you. We're going to walk through the installer. Uh, the defaults on this are fine. You shouldn't need to do anything else. And there it goes. Yes. And then you should see a little readme. We don't need to look at the readme. Um, so then what we're going to do, type in open VPN. Oops, that is not what I was going for. And then you'll see the OpenVPN GUI. Since we don't have any profiles set up so far, we need to import them. Uh, and so it's just giving us a simple error. So what you can do is click import. And we're going to go to our downloads. And let me just open the downloads folder here real quick. And once you've extracted your profiles for the things, you'll see them all here. What we're going to do is just browse to that. And in this case, we're just going to go ahead and import one of them there. I believe you can import them this way. Oh, that's with the other one. Okay, so then you can, in this case, you're going to have to import them one by one, unless we just copy these in here. So that's what we're going to do. Copy them. We'll go into the system. Profiles, OpenVPN, then there's a config folder. We'll be able to paste them in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab that one other one. And now when you go like click this thing, oops, excuse me. Now you should see them all here, and you can log into them. Just exit this viscosity. And if you're going to use this all the time, I highly recommend putting it somewhere you can see so you can tell easily if you're connected or not. And then you simply right click, click the one that you want to connect to. And you can check, save the password. I'm going to grab our temporary password that I set up for this test account and the username which you would be you would receive in your welcome email and then you'll see it connecting and there you go you're connected so you can come over here go to what's my ip.com to test and bam now we're in the Netherlands and there you go it's pretty sweet it's really that simple the first time you log into each profile you have to save the password and then the next time as you switch between them you can switch without having to enter it again. It's a one-time thing. We have them really nicely formatted. Try to make it as easy as possible for people to know which profile goes to which location. So if you want to pick a specific location, um, you can definitely do that really easily. This is completely free, open source version of OpenVPN client. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're trying to do it on a different kind of client like Viscosity or our Soft Ether, we also have tutorials on that. You can also find on YouTube for those specific installation types. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, definitely hit us up. Have a great day.